Oh my god, somebody knocked over my favorite trash can. What the hell, man? What the hell? These are pink uh, lights that they just installed over here. Well, actually, not just pink, it's like multicolored lights. Looks pretty, though. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's like a club inside of there or if like it's like the the building for this bridge. Yeah, those are uh, still in the process of being used and such. These uh, these heads or busts, maybe I guess, are of the Seven Samurai that defended Chicago from the Shogun. See, these are the types of showrooms that are inside of that merchandise mart. From the first or second episode that I did, it was an episode. <laughs> this building, that gigantic building, merchandise mart. It's really late. I'm getting coffee really late. I started watching a movie, and I got distracted watching it, and I kind of kept watching it instead of doing some more filming or editing, so... Jeez, I'm slacking today. This is all the coffee that's remaining in these uh, containers. It's not enough. <laughs> So really exciting news, at least for people that enjoy Star Wars. <laughs> they finally gave Episode 8 an official title. It's called The Last Jedi. That sounds epic. Kind of sad because if it's really The Last Jedi, you know, there's not going to be any more after that. But it might just be the title just to kind of get everybody excited, which is most likely what's going to happen. They're going to make a, a bajillion dollars anyway. I'm excited about it anyway because it's... It's gonna be fun. It's Star Wars. Who doesn't love Star Wars? I remember the first time I saw Star Wars was I was a little kid in Chile, and my dad he recorded on these VHS tapes. Actually, I think on one VHS he recorded the first two Star Wars: A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. The third one was in a separate video. They were dubbed in Spanish because we we're in Chile. Um, they were. I was still like a small infant child, more or less. Um, when he recorded them, they came on TV. That was the that was the way I saw Star Wars the very first time. I watched it dubbed um, with these terrible Spanish like dubbing voices and accents. It was terrible. I was probably like a teenager when I first saw Star Wars in English, like the original trilogy. I saw them in English, and I was like, "This is weird," but you know, I got used to it, and now I'm used to seeing them in English, obviously. And it's weird to go back and, <laughs> and watch the movies and dubbed Spanish, that's not very good. It's really fun though, it's really wild. Like if you want to just freak your brain out and just be like, this doesn't sound like Luke Skywalker. It's, I don't know, it's a lot cheesier in Spanish, I think. Cause like everyone's not really acting with the voiceovers, they're just kind of like dubbing it. And so it sounds like, like a soap opera or something like that. Anyway, that was a cool little bit of news today that I found out, but yeah. So War Star Wars is always gonna have a special place in my mind and in my memories. Thanks to my mom and dad, especially my dad. Thanks, dad. Gracias.